man. Yeah. I, just, I just can't describe uh, how excited I am to, to be here. Speaking of Wisconsin um, and Smash and Splash, it, it really is like the Midwest summer event. Like, you should not miss this. So if you're not here right now, we hope to see you next year. But uh, since you're not here, that means that you get to watch this wonderful match coming up between E2C's Lord Sturm and Pucks out of Missouri. So Midwest Classic right here. I'm glad to see my man Sturm in the bracket. I've actually played this guy uh, a couple of times in friendly. He's good, man. Yeah. He's, 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 he's actually like a very good player. <laughs> Which he, I guess he, it he's makes lying. sense. Sorry, I'm, Sturm. Oh, no, that's, that's <laughs> mean. Well, maybe I'm just horrible. No, I, I definitely I, lost You're, you're entered into the tournament, by the way. Am I, I actually? Yeah. Like, really? You have a pool if you want to play it. Oh, what? We, we put oh. you in. Oh, well, I might actually show up for that. I don't know. I actually had no idea. All right, well, but yeah, we I'll have... see how Sturm goes, and then I'll go from there. Yeah, well, if you can do, if you think you can do better than Sturm, yes. that, then you're good. So we're gonna start off on Smashville here. That that's that's the mid, that's the Midwest right there. Is, oh, yeah. is we always go to Smashville to start off with. Dude, that's the everywhere. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but like literally, like 90% of the time, it's not even a rock paper scissors. So and uh, we're starting here. Yoshi um, is longtime main of Lord Sturm. And uh, he, he typically kind of like loses faith in his Yoshi every like three or really? four months, okay. but then always ends up going back. And it's a pretty dang solid Yoshi. On this side, we have Pux out of Missouri, and he's playing that Fox. What do you think of this Fox so far, EE? I like what I'm seeing, man. It looks pretty explosive from the gate, and that's kind of what I like to see out of Fox players. I don't want to see any kind of passive play. Just go right in there. You got yeah. the tools to make it work. You can definitely overwhelm Yoshi as long as you're able to get in there, and that's what I'm seeing from the early going and, and from this man. Fox is one of those few characters that can kind of keep up with Yoshi's frame data, and, and, and he's also you know, faster on the ground too. So it really kind of like you need to go in on Yoshi because yeah. if you just sit let, sit back and let him throw eggs and kind of dictate, he's gonna run all over you. Not to mention, it just it, it gets to the point where it just frustrates you, right? Mm -hmm. Like, and that's like your worst enemy right there is frustration. But it doesn't seem oh. like he's having too many issues right yeah, now. Yes, we're we're pretty even right now. This has been a a knockdown, you know, drag out fight to start with. You, we wanted to see someone going in, and these guys are both going in on each Absolutely. other right now. Really, what's gonna hinge on here is who's able to you know get that first stock. There it is, man. And Pucks is able to take it, and how Lord Sturm is able to respond. Because if he goes down big in percent, I think it's going to be a short match. Well, I mean, you kind of alluded to the fact that, you know, Sturm, he sucks. But <laughs> <laughs> obviously, we both know that's not the case. Now, I am interested to see if he can respond pretty quickly here. He's a pretty resilient player, to be 100% honest. Like, he doesn't really get himself down. Even though he came off a of commentary right now, obviously, he crushed it there. So he probably used up most of his talent for the day at that block. <laughs> Could you imagine if that's how it actually works? Like, <laughs> oh, my goodness. You, you have, it's, it's like you spend magic points to like you're like i'm gonna put it all in the commentary it's right all now mana, man like it really is <laughs> well, he needs to put it a little bit into this gameplay because he is trailing right here my man uh pucks has definitely opened up a, a bit of a lead here and uh, yeah i mean th his, the biggest thing with yoshi is is converting off of like your your egg lays and then getting like jab up smash stuff like you have to get those conversions and with fox being a fast faller that's there exactly what you need to look for right on cue right there man see that's uh, those are the kind of players i appreciate they make you look good like you're, like you're spouting the knowledge and they just drop it out for you. It's like, oh, thank you so much for saving me right there. Wonderful, I appreciate you guys. Wonderful execution right here, but still a solid lead. Uh, Sturm needs to find a way to get back in this. He yeah. is doing some, he's, his his shielding is a lot better. Like he's been playing a little bit more defensively right now. And it, it was for a while preventing him from gaining damage. But now Pucks has found a way in. Yep. And it's looking a little grim for our fellow commentator. Yeah, man. He's trying to land right here. Be reversing his way back down. Oh, gets caught with the up tilt. That up tilt is so quick, and it sends you at such a useful angle for Fox. It's one of his best tools. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's crazy how long it actually took people to like, kind of figure out like how good of a move it really is. Life-saving tech there by Lord Sturm. He's going to try and use that second chance at life to maybe push a little bit forward and maybe find a spike. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so close, man. I thought he had it right there. Uh, he couldn't do it for me. Definitely a heart stopper. But, I mean, nonetheless, he's still a lot... Mm. And, unfortunately, right. he was not able to find right. his way back to the ground to get that tech and save himself right. again. And so, uh, right there, we saw Pucks take game one. Yeah, Pucks taking game one, but I did like what I saw out of Sturm. Uh, definitely some good resiliency on his part. Yeah, he brought that pretty far back, and yeah. he was, like, like pixels away from getting that spike, and that would have been the end of Fox. Oh, yeah. So, just didn't quite get that hitbox he was looking for, but he will get another chance to see where he's going for game number two. Looks like he's trying to decide between maybe Town and City and possibly Battlefield. Or maybe a character change. Uh, you said, okay. No, oh, color change. Uh, color change. Color, color color change. I'm with I'm with it. The, the color counterpick for Yoshi is super strong. Dude, that, that color counterpick actually like goes <laughs> a lot deeper than people realize. Like, there's a whole nother player when it comes out, man. So let's go to a whole nother stage here at Town and City. Is it really a whole nother stage? I mean, Tom Nook's still in charge. <sighs> Dang, man. <laughs> I, I can't even argue with that. <laughs> <laughs> like, Oh, in game history, you know it's true. 
And uh, Lordstar actually tried to come out real hot there and, and catch that uh, side B with the fair spike. Didn't quite get it again. If he starts landing those, it, you, Tuck's got to watch out. Yeah, I say that's pretty tough to land, but I mean, if he's able to hit it, man, that's a big time advantage he can really give himself. And Puck's really reached there with that forward smash. Let's Sturm retake stage control. All right, and this is where I've seen Sturm struggle a little bit, just being in the air and trying to land. Puck's done a good job just kind of keeping him up there and just extending the lead. That is a tough, tough spot for Yoshi, it though. Is. Like, I mean, it, decent airspeed. I mean, for sure, good airspeed, but just not a lot of landing options. Like, everything else is punishable. Puck's just, he controls the ground so well in certain situations where he really wants to. But, but Sturm speaking of controlling. The, yeah, he's controlling the stage right now. We saw him take stock one of game one with jab up smash, and we almost saw him take stock one of game two with jab forward smash. So the man definitely knows his Yoshi tech. Oh, yes. Trying to evade right now. Oh, good app bear right there. Kind of just caught him sleeping for a minute. Yeah, he sharked him through that platform. Just hit him with the tail. And uh, now Fox is trying to repeat that by going up through oh. up airs through the platforms and does the exact same thing right back to him. We are dead even yeah, here in game two. A lot of back and forth action. That's kind of what I expected out of both these guys. All right, excellent grab right here. Wow, it's maximizing jabs right there. Beautifully played. Puck's trying to take a little bit of a breather, but decides to oh, go right in. Perfect shields that Nair, and then immediately tries for a follow-up. Sturm is able to weasel his way out of that, but he's going to have to be careful trying to cross up Fox's shield, because it is not working right now. Oh, yeah. Back air puts him off. Still heavy stage control for Puck. He's making it work right now. The pressure is definitely real. I like that. That's one thing I like about Sturm right now. He's picking aggressive options to come back down to mm -hmm. the stage. Yeah, I mean, you, you can't you can't pussyfoot around. Like, you got to get down, and because Yoshi's ground game is where he shines, really. Like, jab up smash, uh, egg lays, uh, you know, egg throw into, you know, combos. He's got to get back down somehow or another. Oh, that's stock, yeah. That's a little bit too aggressive. Yeah, exactly. I was going to say, if that didn't hit, that was pretty much uh, death right there. Maybe it was hoping you get an opportunity to break the shield, perhaps, It was lower. Like, it, it was. wasn't a full see, shield, yeah. but it just, he didn't get, like, uh, when you do it from the ground, you get the first hit, yeah. sort of, and then he didn't get that though since he started from the air. Not enough to break the shield, and Sturm will fall into losers here in singles pools. And that will confirm I will not be playing my pools match. <laughs> no, no. Thank you, Sturm. He, he set a low bar. You could totally finish better than him. <laughs> get a game, right? Yeah, yeah. Get a game, I, and you're, you're better than Lord Sturm. I guess that's the goal. <laughs> uh, so, looks like uh, as we move forward here in the bracket,